Hello, you all. Welcome to the Chase Visions channel. We're glad to have you. Today, I'm going to be doing a video on my Minota MN350Z camera that I got not too long ago. So I'm very, very excited. Um, I decided that I wanted to get a digital camera because I wanted to really step up my uh, photography. And also because I have, you know, this new YouTube channel, I definitely want to actually use a camera versus uh, my phone and to hopefully uh, be able to step up my videos. Now, because this is my first time actually using um, a professional camera such as this, I definitely wanted to get a beginner's camera. And so um, after doing some shopping around, um, I checked out the Minolta MN350Z, which is actually, um, it's been discontinued, but because of all of the great um, options and features that this camera has, um, it was definitely a great fit for me and what I need to do, which is some, um, you know, something simple, not too major. And then of course the price was really good. Um, you can actually get these cameras brand new between $150, to um, $250 and you definitely do get a bang for your buck. Now, after doing um, reviewing some of the some of the reviews, I kind of did get discouraged because uh, this camera did get a lot of bad reviews. They were around in the two and uh, two point five stars, not really three. And after looking at some of the reviews, one of the key um, things that I've discovered was that it was a lot of um, new beginners actually giving their feedback versus um, folks who have used cameras for a long time. And the ones who have used cameras for a while or have great experience, one thing that they've no uh, highlighted or shared was that there are beginners that do not know what they're doing with these type of cameras. And I definitely was one of those uh, individuals. You know, on my, on my, uh, my phone, you know, it was so easy just to you know, capture a, a picture or a video and it comes out really, really clear. And so I thought I can do the same thing with these particular cameras. And, um, you know, after taking a few shots, I was all like, oh, you know, the quality is really bad. You know, what's the point of me purchasing this if I can just use my phone? And um, I almost actually sent this camera back. But then, um, you know, I started using my common sense and I was all like, there's no way that, you know, you would have um, these particular kind of cameras, um, you know, that will be charging um, hundreds of dollars uh, giving poor quality, um, you know, photos. And so I said, well, you know what? Let me take a step back. Let me figure out what's really going on. So after watching a lot of YouTube videos, I learned that, you know, these cameras do take really beautiful pictures, but you actually have to, you know, figure out what is the best setting, um, you know, for your camera, for your photos to come out nicely. You know, um, you got to understand, like, what is the shutter speed? Um, there are a lot of different photography technology um, terminologies that I really did not know about. You know, I was really ignorant. And so... After watching a lot of videos, um, I really learned that um, that it takes a lot. It takes a lot to really understand these cameras. And, you know, once you begin to, you know, start playing around, get experienced, then, you know, it, it becomes a breeze to you. And so for those of you who are watching my video but are looking at other reviews, you know, I want you to just understand that it's a lot of new beginners, uh, a lot of amateurs that are giving these reviews, but they really, really, really um, do not know um, what you have to do in order to take nice photos um, in all the different settings, you know, all the different techniques, you know, um, bright, you know, shadows, all of those things. Um, and so... Hopefully, I'm able to give you a decent review and you will understand, um, again, why I purchased this camera. So, with that said, 
we're going to go ahead and um, just talk about some of the features for this particular camera. Now, I wanted a camera that I could just easily upload photos, upload videos, so that I can send them to YouTube. Um, you know, I just want things very simple, um, very, very easy. You know, I don't want, I don't want to waste a lot of time, right? And so with this Minolta, I reviewed other different cameras, but one thing that I really liked was that this camera um, has Wi-Fi connectivity. And so we'll just go ahead and segue into, you know, the features on this camera. So with this, ca with this camera having uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, all I have to do is just simply download the Link123 the, uh, Link app. And once you do that, you connect to Wi-Fi using your Bluetooth, then you are able to um, upload the videos from your digital camera to your phone automatically. And it's very simple. Then you just press a button uh, to export it. Boom, you're done. Now, in terms of the videos, one thing that I did learn was that uh, there is a maximum of 100 or 1,200 and um, it's like 1,200 megabytes basically. Um, that's the maximum that you can that you can upload. And so, if your videos are over, you know, 1,200 megabytes, then you will have to use your computer and you know download, upload the video, and then you know send the uh, video either to your cloud or uh, to your phone or um, various uh, sharing uh, platforms. So that's something to uh, definitely check out. Now, what I really, really, really like about this camera in particular, and I'm telling you all, you will definitely get a bang for your buck using this camera. Um, the camera that I have here, you know, this screen, the screen does not, you know, flip out. And so, you don't really know um, if you're positioning the camera the right way, you know, if you're in screen, um, whatever. And so what's really cool is that once you connect to the app, you can actually take pictures from your phone using um, your camera. So the camera syncs to your phone and you can actually press the button and this camera will work. If you wanted to make a video, you press the button on your phone, like you're taking a regular uh, video, and then the camera will automatically start making videos and it will upload to your camera. And so that's really cool because you can now use a second screen to, to know, um, you know how you're in with the camera and the, the views and things of that nature. So that's something that I think was really, 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 really uh, dope. So in the future, probably my next video, I will, you know, demonstrate for you all how to connect um, through the Wi-Fi. The other one is that this camera does have optical um, image stability. Uh, this camera is uh, 35 times optical zoom. You get a 3.0 LED uh, display. As in terms of recording, this video does record in 1080p full HD video resolution. And I think that is really, really awesome because there are some cameras that only um, record in uh, 720 um you know, video resolution. And so that that's what's really awesome about this camera. And the videos are really nice. You know, I will show you all some photos and videos that I have taken so that you all can see. You also get a 20 um, megapixel uh, photo resolution as well. And so, you know, normal cameras, cell phone cameras, they have, you know, 13, some have 16, um, some have nine. And then this just talks about more of the features here. So I'll allow you all to check, uh, take a look at this. So you get wide angle lens. Now, 
in terms of lens, this is the only lens that you get. Um, you you cannot um, add lens onto this. This is not what this camera is about. Um, so this is it. The only thing that it does is that, you know, in the settings, you can do the wide angle view. And then the camera will actually, ex the lens will um, will expand so that you can be able to get a, a nice picture when you're zooming. There's automatic uh, face detection, auto smile shutter, 16 color art effects, built in Wi Fi connectivity, ISO up to um, 6400. That's another terminology that you all will need to know, especially if you're new, is ISO. That is very key. Um, it's a lot. So definitely do your homework, do your research before uh trying to get a camera because you know it's a lot to take and it's it's a lot to learn there is 128 megabyte internal memory so just in case of you know you lose your sd card you know you you are able to take um you know some photos there's also built-in speakers intelligent scene mode 26 user selectable scene modes various filter um effects HDR and super micro shooting and then also a SDXC card expandable up to 64 um, gigabytes and then they also do give you um, an SD card so we'll segue into that so what's included in this package you get your camera you get your uh, case you get your battery your 8 gigabyte SD card AC adapter, USB card, instruction manual, and then you get a hand strap. You get a CD-ROM. The CD-ROM is a ROM that they give you for um, for image editing, which is really nice. Uh, you get the instruction manual, uh, hand. Oh, I already talked about that. And then also, you know, the app you can get in uh, Google Play or the Apple Store. So this is what the case actually looks like. It's really nice. It's uh, it's soft. And then you get like a little pouch here for you to, you know, put your cable and whatever in. This is what the CD-ROM looks like. And then, um, I guess just some history about Minota. Like I said, they did discontinue their cameras. Um, but Minota uh, did not discontinue its brand. So, you know, they're still heavily in the uh, medical field. And it's my understanding that Elite Brands Inc. Uh, bought out Minota. But then I'm also hearing rumors that um, Sony is um has you know using minota cameras or the cameras are very uh similar to a degree there's some sort of history with with sony i'm not really sure but you know you can look at some of their uh the cameras and some of their cameras do look like minota so i'm not really sure what that's about and then uh they were nice enough to also give you uh camera expression um expression suits so you get uh, the Hallmark Photo Project Studio. Um, you get the video editor. And then this here just tells you like the instructions in order to redeem. So I'm not gonna give you all my codes. This here is the Minota um, user manual. And then this here is the quick start. And then this just breaks down everything. It breaks down everything to you all. And I'll let you all um, pause so you can like either take a picture or read about it. So we're actually going to go through the... Um, the manual really quickly and I'm gonna let y'all know now this video is gonna probably be really really long 
So again, it breaks down how to use the wireless function. Maximum resolution. This here talks about the format. All right. So now let's check out the manual. So this is what the camera looks like. And I am going to give you all a quick tour of the camera of the um of the camera. And I will kind of discuss, you know, some of the stuff in this book. These are just talking about the safety precautions, um, exposure warnings, all that good stuff. This is your table of contents. Video is already 16 minutes long, y'all. So, this is this here talks about the controls. And again, I'm actually, uh, I forgot to tell you all, yeah, you do get your lens cover. This here just talks about, you know, the buttons and the selectors. Then here's the description for the camera buttons. So you got your power, shuttle, shutter, um, zoom dial, menu, delete, mode dial, playback, movie, autofocus, autofocus lock button, wireless. Um, and then you get your rotation button, um, micro button, self timer button flash button okay button and then these here are basically what this is so this is your DOS selector that's your Wi-Fi your recording um, your shutter button zoom in zoom out on off there's your speaker. There's your um, flash. You just press this button. And then on the back, there's your autofocus, playback, ping you, trash, okay, all that good stuff. Feel free to take your pictures. It's it's a very detailed book, very very detailed. So this here just really explains to you, um, you know what's going on with this camera, and the features. Tells you how to attach the strap, the lens cover.
how to insert the battery, how to insert the memory. So, um, yeah, it's uh, lithium batteries. <clears throat> so all you do is just charge it. Um, to charge your battery, all you have to do is just charge the camera to your uh, wall outlet. It'll have a green button, a uh, green light that blinks, letting you know that it's charging. When it's done blinking, then it's finished charging. All the settings here. Again, it's just kind of redundant. It's just just making sure that you know what's going on. All the indicators, it breaks all of that down to you all. How to take photos. Setting the zoom control, which I talked about. to use flash focus mode setting how to delete when deleting photos you can delete multiple ones or single ones more about the dial so this is basically the um, the dial modes which is really really important um, again when you're learning how to um, you know take pictures when you're getting involved with photography um, you will hear um, the word manual exposure and normally great photographers actually um, capture photos in manual exposure. And it does require you to build your skills in order to be successful taking photos in uh, manual exposure mode. And then we're going to kind of talk about the intelligent uh, scene modes. This is what I really um, enjoy about this camera is that um, there are a lot of um, a lot of different modes in in scene um, in the scene mode. So the first one is portrait. So this camera blurs out the background and um, to focus in on the subject, you have landscape, sunset. This feature enhances the red hue for um, recording sun images, dawn, backlight. Night scene, close up, fireworks, beach. So you can actually take pictures in these modes. Makes it really, really easy for you all. Snow, sport. For sport, this feature captures still images in high speed motion. So that way, they're, um, you know, when you're doing sport, 
you know, of course, with sport, there's going to be a lot of move movement. And so the camera understands to adjust the shutter so that it can quickly snap the picture so that there will be um, little to no glare. Party mode, candlelight, night portrait, soft skin. So this feature enhances skin tone. The spatial skin appears smooth. And so, you know, to me, that's kind of like a Snapchat filter. Uh, food, moon, background focus. Uh, using this feature, it takes pictures with background defocus. Uh, see user background defocus on page 40 for details. And I would encourage you all to um, to do that because it's been actually challenging for me to take um, back, background um, photos. I'm sorry, to take photos using a, um, the background defocus mode because it will not take the photo unless the camera feels like it's a great photo to uh to actually take a photo for the background to be focused and then you will know that it's uh that it's okay because the camera um target thing would be green instead of yellow all right self portrait Smile shutter, HDR. And then you also have um, time lapse. You can take GIF captures. So, you know, you this is what you actually see on Facebook and other social media sites. So you can actually do your own uh, GIF uh, photos. And it's really cool. And then you have continuous uh, shooting. You also have um, using kid mode, you know, that talks about the difficulties of taking photos. And so, again, the camera will um, allow, allow for it to adjust the shutter so that you can take good photos. And then this here just, again, breaks everything down to you. So they're very, very detailed in this book. So if you want to, you can take your photos. And I'm gonna try to move quicker here because we're getting to the 30 minute mark already. This talks about using the artifact mode so, you know, it's a lot. So again, this is the using um, manual exposure. Um, aperture, I think that's how you say it. That's another uh, key terminology that you want to learn when you're um, learning about photography. Very, 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 very important. Shutter prior, uh, shutter, the shutter speed, very important. This here talks about the recording mode, different ways that you can record. And then you can also take fine pictures, normal pictures, and then super fine pictures. This talks about the white balance, daylight, cloudy, you know, different um, settings that you can take photos. Again, um, ISO is a, another key terminology that you want to learn about. Uh, the metering is basically um, the way that it focuses. So you can either do multiple center or spot and it will um, focus on multiple things on the center on uh, you can have it set to wide and 
then this here talks about the autofocus lamp. Blink detection has that stability, like I said. Then video th thumb and then also, um, I'm sorry, viewing thumb. You know, this here just shows you how to actually um, review the pictures. You can do multiple or single. There's your playback. You can do uh, voice memos. All that good stuff. do back and white Sophia color emphasis you can adjust the color adjust the setting for the language then you can uh, format you can reset this here again talks about using the Wi-Fi function that talks about auto send Quick sand. How to connect to the printer. I'm telling you, like, for a couple hundred dollars, you do get a lot. You see, it talks about troubleshooting. Then these are the specific um, specifications. You can go ahead and take a picture of that if you want to. All right, so I'm going to allow you all to take a look at the camera again. It's a really nice camera. Um, the feel of it is really, really good. It's nice and heavy. I like this grip part here. There are actually some cameras that do not offer a grip um, on here. So I noticed that a lot of people liked it as well. This here is the strap. Nice and soft here. This is the lens that you put on the camera. And then we'll just cut it on real quick. This is probably not going to do you any justice because um, I'm showing you all what the camera looks like. And uh, the backlight is never really good when recording. But um, we can just go through some of the settings. Here's menu. That's a photo size. So what type of photo size do you want? Quality, fine, normal, super fine. 
white balance. Go through it daylight, cloudy. Different custom. ISO, automatic, um, 125, 200, 400, 800, 1600, 3200, 3200, maximum ISL, auto, 200, 400, 800, 1600. This is the Minolta MN 350Z. Um, I think it's a pretty good deal for um, a beginner's camera, um, especially when you're an amateur. Now, if you are a professional, no, I do not recommend this camera because um, if you're a professional, then that means that you know how to use multiple lenses. Um, you're an expert in, um, in uh, manual mode. And so... Um, of course, you would use a more expensive camera to capture even more beautiful photos um, and videos. Um, again, if you're um, a beginner, you know, to be a beginner, it's one thing to purchase a camera for like $150, but it has, um, you know, it does not have a lot of options, you know. And so if you purchase a camera like that that does not have a lot of options, you know, what good does that do for you? You know, um, it, it just doesn't make sense because you're trying to actually learn to take great photos and to, um, to learn how to, uh, actually use these type of cameras. So you want a camera that's going to give you, um, the, the, the desires of what you need in order to learn. And so, with this camera, it has a lot of options, and with a lot of options, it's really great, and it makes things a lot easier. So, um, again, I will recommend this, um, you know, to beginners, all right? So, again, my name is Chase Visions. Please make sure you, that you subscribe. Um, you can like. I have social media. Feel free to um Get in contact with me through social media. If you have any questions, feel free to ask those questions as well. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. All right. All right. So you all take care and uh, stay tuned. So you can actually look at uh, a couple of videos and um, some photos that I've captured. Photos that I've captured with me being an amateur. And so I am still learning how to take better photos every day. And, you know, if I actually had the proper lighting, you know, I could really be on. But, you know, I think I'm doing pretty good for uh, the lack of skills that I currently have. So, you know, what do you all think? Um, like I said, feel free to um, give your opinion. You know, we're family here. This is a, a safe space, a safe platform. So, you know, I definitely want to allow that space for you.